टुडे वन ऑफ माय स्टूडेंट्स ही आस्ट मी अ वेरी ग्रेट क्वेश्चन व्हिच इज़ अबाउट कॉपिंग सीएसएस फ्रॉम फोटोशॉप एंड ही वाज क्यूरियस अबाउट हाउ टू कॉपी सीएसएस ग्रेडिएंट्स यूज्ड इन एनी बटन और एनी अदर शेप इन फोटोशॉप ओके सो टुडे आई एम गोइंग टू गिव यू माई फर्स्ट टटोरियल वेयर आई एम गोइंग टू गिव यू हाउ टू कॉपी सी कोड एंड हाउ टू क्रिएट नाइस लुकिंग सी एस एस ग्रेडियंट बटन यूजिंग एच टी एम एल एंड सी एस एस सो लेट्स गेट स्टार्टेड नाउ यू कैन सी दिस इज द एंड रिजल्ट वी आर गोइंग टू क्रिएट यू कैन सी दिस इज अ ग्रेडियंट बटन वैन आई होवर ऑन इट यू कैन सी इट इज इन नाउ अ पिल शेप्ड बटन एंड द शेडो अराउंड इट इज अ बिट डार्कर सो आई दर यू कैन गो विद दिस वन और इफ यू डोंट वॉन्ट द बॉर्डर रेडियस टू चेंज और डोंट वॉन्ट इट टू बी इन द पिल शेप्ड button let's remove this property and uh, run it oops okay so here we have it let's run it and now you can see it is just changing the shadow around it uh, with some easing effect you can see over here now how i did it using my photoshop let me go switch to the photoshop Okay, now you can see this is my Photoshop file, and uh, here I have just one text over this button, and I have this rounded rectangle, and uh, I have stroke effect around it. Let me show you what I have over here. This is stroke effect, one pixel stroke of the same color, same blue, which is applied in the gradient. Okay, so you can use that over here. Two nine two six nine four D eight. This is the uh hex hexadecimal code and you can see here i have the gradient i had already created this gradient it is a bit three color gradient you can shift uh, the colors over here like that wherever you want it want them to be okay something like this and once you created this gradient button i have added some drop shadow 20 opacity 5 distance and 20 is the blur size and uh, you can see here we have something like that so i'm going to increase it to 30 so the shadow is a bit visible right now okay so once you create something like that just right click on any of the layer you have copy css and we are going to paste it over here okay so uh, let me delete everything over here and i'm going to create a new class gradient btn which is i'm using over here and just paste it over here so uh, it is pasting also the uh, class name created itself so i am going to delete this class name produced by photoshop also this last bracket a uh, few more things we need to change over here one is this position absolute we don't need it because uh, we want a relative position button a relative and uh, this left and top we are also going to remove they are related to this position absolute if you don't know much about css and uh, just leave them like this don't worry about it okay so uh, width and height just leave them like this and uh, here we have our button so what i did over here is i just created a button button and i applied a class to it with the name of gradient dash btn so this is all i did z index you can also remove this one this property too okay so let's run it and it is going to just create our shape which was our gradient shape okay now what we need is just some text on it now we are going again going to photoshop and copy the text settings here we have right click on this one copy css move back and we are going to paste it over here now keep in mind that it is also going to create some uh, these uh, class names for itself we are going to remove these brackets uh, also these z index and z index left position absolute and all these because we don't need it also we are going to use line height 1 so it is going to 100% line height uh, this font is not pre present over here yorkton so i am going to use open sans in place of it so just a few settings and uh, let's run this oops we don't have any text on the button so i am going to use i am gradient something like that 
so now you can see we have the same text as uh, the same size text over here line height I have set to one so it is in the middle of this button and uh, this is how we can create a button uh, by using the CSS code from Photoshop so if you are a web developer I, I uh, already have left this development field uh, but still sometimes I play with it so we are going to add some uh, transition to all the properties and uh, point uh, two is point two something like that I think it was this uh, it was the same and we are going to create a hover state for this one gradient dash btn and hover state for this one and in the hover state uh, what we are going to do is we can do a lot of things we can change the box shadow and make it a bit more uh, darker over here so I'm going to put 0.5 so it is basically 50% now and uh, let's run it and see if it is okay so it is not moving like that maybe I am missing something is I think is 0.2 second I guess maybe something like this okay so now uh, I think I was missing the second I'm not much a coder and I don't code a lot so uh, this is I think I have coded like uh, six months uh, before so uh, I'm forgetting a lot of CSS okay so you can see now if I hover on it there is a very nice shadow over here like this also if you want to invert the uh, your gradient you can do the same just go to this gradient and uh, reverse it and again copy the CSS go back and I am going to paste it over here like this okay so we just need what we need we just need the gradient over here so I'm going to just keep the gradient remove everything else over here like that okay we are going to run it again and see how this gradient is going to shift so you can see now this gradient is shifting although it is not animating very nicely uh, but I think this is uh, what you can do okay so uh, there are a lot of things you can do over here so I am going to use border radius and I'm going to use 50 pixels border radius on this hover effect so it is going to be now a pill shift button like that okay. so you can see there are two transition happening one is box shadow we are making it more harder more shadow and border radius is uh, making it a pill shift button so this is how you can use your uh, Photoshop CSS code and eliminate few of the things like most of the time it is using absolute positioning which we don't know, need we need relative positioning uh, also uh, if you want you can uh, do more about it like rather than using height and width you can use padding uh, 40 pixel top bottom and right left 60 pixels something like this let's run it oops so it is getting very small because I've left this one so this is now my button if you want it to be more smaller than this you can use something like that 20 and 30 let's run it again okay so I am going to reduce the font size to 20 let's see how it looks like now so you can see now it is a bit smaller and uh, it is going to expand uh, with the text I am going to write on it more text something like this okay so you can see now it is a bigger button so if I put more text on it it is going to adjust with the size like that so now I am not using a fixed size I am using padding um, top bottom and right left and um, maybe I can increase it uh, reduce the top bottom like this and this is how you can use your Photoshop and uh, copy the CSS code and create awesome buttons like this so I hope you have enjoyed this lesson uh, and uh, if you like this tutorial uh, do subscribe and like my channel and uh, see you soon in another video